hi guys welcome to this video in this video i'm going to show you how to monitor your next.js app so if you build an application with next.js and you want to monitor the performance of your app and you want to know when your app crashes and stuff like that you're going to learn how to do that in this video so in this video we're going to first create a new next.js app so a very basic app just like what you see on the screen right here and i'm going to show you how to use a platform called alati to monitor that next.js app so Alati is a platform that helps you monitor your applications. So it helps you monitor your website, your databases, and in this video, I'll show you how to use it to monitor your Next.js app. Now, the process is very similar for other frameworks like React.js, Vue.js, and more. And I'm also going to quickly talk about that later in this video. So head over to alati.ai or click the link in the description below so you can sign up and follow along with this tutorial. Now, without wasting any time, let's get straight into this video. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is to create a new Next.js app. To do this, I'm right here on my terminal and I'm just going to navigate into the directory where I want to create this app. I'm going to go into document. So this can be in any folder you want. I'm just going to go into the project folder in document. And in here, I'm going to make a new directory. I'm going to call it demo app, just like this. I'm going to go into that folder and now in this folder i'm going to create this next.js app let me just clear this and to create the app is a very simple command we're just going to use mpx create next app our latest and then the name of the app let's call it demo app just like this this is going to create that for us yes we want to use typescript yes 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 um no and that's going to install all the necessary dependencies and everything needed for us so as you can see this has been created successfully now the next thing i'm going to do is to cd into demo app so you just created a new project called demo app and if i run ls you can now see that inside this demo app folder we have all of the folders required for this app now i'm going to open this up in visual studio code so this app we just created i'm going to open up the folder in VS Code. So right here in VS Code, I'm just gonna come here and I'm gonna say file open folder. So as you can see right here, this folder has been opened up. I'm just gonna make this a bit smaller so you can see everything on one screen. So all of this is done now, and we have this working. The folder, the next app has been created. And now what we need to do is to go into Alatly and connect Alatly to this particular next app so that Alatly can start tracking the performance of this particular app. So right here we're in Alatly. So go to alatly.ai or click the link in the description below. So Alatly is a platform that basically allows us to monitor our applications, right? So it allows us to monitor, for example, in this case, this Next.js application. So it's going to track the performance. If there's any crashes that happen, it's going to track that and alert us, right? So what you need to do is just to click on this button. And it's going to take you to a page where you have to sign in and once you're signed in it's going to bring you to your dashboard so this is my dashboard right here and it has a lot of different things that you can monitor on track like websites cdn app frameworks databases but for this video we're going to be looking into app frameworks and the framework we're going to be talking about is next.js it also works for as you can see react node view and it's going to work for Go and Python soon. So that is coming soon. But what we're going to do is to click on Next.js. And now I'm just going to say Demo App. This could be anything. It doesn't have to be the same name as your Next.js app. I'm just keeping it as the same name. And I'm going to say Next. And that resource is going to be created. Now what is going to happen now is that it wants us to basically connect this to our application. So for us to connect this to our application, we're going to have to install the Alatly Next.js SDK. So to do this, let's just open up this. This is going to take us to like a little documentation on GitHub. So right here, you can see this is what you need to worry about this particular part right here. So it says you can install the Alatly SDK using NPM or Yarn. Personally, I love Yarn. So I'm just going to copy Yarn and I'm going to come in here and I have a terminal right here. In VS Code, I'm just gonna make sure I'm in that folder and I'm gonna install Alatly. I'm gonna hit enter. That's gonna take a couple of seconds to install, and 
when that is done i'm gonna be back so as you can see this has been successfully installed and i could just close this down and i'm gonna swipe back now once you have that installed all they want us to do is to copy this part right here and i'm gonna come into src i'm gonna go into layout and right here i'm just gonna paste that in here so this imports the alertly sdk and this configures it using our dsn so to get the dsn we're gonna come here i'm gonna come back into the alertly dashboard i'm just gonna copy this right here so this is the dsn click copy come back in here and paste that right so i replace it with that and now i'm gonna save this that is literally all you need to do to configure alertly into your next js application very straightforward now the next thing i'm going to do is to just run this application and i'm just going to come here and i'm going to say npm run dev just like this and it's starting on this server right here just gonna copy that real quick i'm going to come in here open up a new tab and I'm just going to paste in that local host right here. So as you can see, Next.js by Verso, everything is running. This basic project or this basic app is now running on our local host. So that is all we need, right? And what we can now do is to come back in here into Alertly and this should update. So this takes a couple of seconds to update and you can just refresh it to check. So as you can see, that has updated. It is now tracking this next.js app so it's going to track for performance and crashes so you can come in i'm going to click on performance and you can see details of you know the performance if there's any crash it's going to tell you you're going to see it here like a chart right so you can come back and you can also view the same for crashes it's going to show you here if there's any crash right now we don't have any crash because it just started tracking it so it says no data for the selected time range because there has been no crash you can also pause this if you don't want to keep tracking it, right? And this is going to alert you via email. So if something happens to this Next.js app, let's say we've actually deployed this onto the web and let's say it crashed or there's something wrong with the performance, it's going to send you an email and you're going to see that something is wrong, right? And you can easily fix that quickly. The last thing I'm going to talk about in this video is smart agents in Alati. This is quite useful and I found it quite fascinating. So what we've done to this point is using app frameworks to monitor performance and crashes. But when you deploy your web application onto the web, so let's say you use Next.js, React, Vue.js or whatever you use. Once you deploy it to the web and you have your URL, you can then monitor the website uptime and some other stuff. So let me explain that to you. So in this video, we didn't actually deploy our Next.js application onto the web. I'll just show you an example. So this is just a basic landing page that my users can use to get free resources. And what I'm going to do is to copy this link. I'm going to come back here. Now I'm going to explain how we can use smart agents and what they are for. But before I do that, for you to be able to use the smart agent, you need to add it under this website. So you need to monitor that particular website. And it's going to monitor uptime, latency, and load time of this website. So this is not for an application that you are currently building this is for a website that is already running on the web i'm just going to paste this in and click create monitors so that is going to create the monitors and if you come here that has been created but the thing i want to show you is called agents so these agents they can basically do anything you want it to do it can monitor anything you want it to monitor so for example if i click on add agents and i'm going to select the code with tommy landing page that i just put and i can do a lot of things right so right here i'm gonna specify the goal of what i want to do so i can click on increase sign up and this agent is basically going to scan through this whole website and tell you how you can increase sign up or how you can improve retention but i'm just going to come here i'm going to click on custom prompt right so you can also write in what you want the agent to achieve so i want the agent to let me say check for typos so now it's going to scan through the whole website and tell you if there's any typo and the website name i could just say landing page something like this now i'm going to say create and run agent if i click on landing page now it's going to take a while to process and to actually 
get all of this so it uses three users and it's going to take a while to scan the whole website and check for typos so if you come into summary you can see it says this is a focus group created to provide feedback on how to check for typos so this is very useful and as you can see right here it says the focus group uses gpt4 so this is nice because we all know how good the gpt4 ai model is so it uses that to scan through the website and basically achieve what you want it to achieve now this takes a minute or two but to save time i already did this for another website and this is it right here typos agent so i did the same thing for another website but this is the website i did it for i'm just going to open that so you can see it so just going to take a second this is the website i did it for and as you can see right here i said it should also check for typos and you can see that it basically provides us feedback so it tells us everything it says it took a screenshot and analyzes it analyzed it for clarity of information ease of navigation content relevance and it says below is a detailed report so it gives a detailed report of the whole website and if you come here another report if you come here another report right it's very good and it also tells you if you have any typos which is basically what we wanted to check so this is quite good and the usefulness for this is boundless you can use this to monitor anything you know you can check to see if an image in a particular section is always showing something like that you can basically do whatever you want so i hope you understood how you can use these agents to monitor your website we've come to the end of this video in this video i showed you how to track the performance and monitor your Next.js application for any crashes. You can also do this for more frameworks. If I come back to Alertly and come to Inventory, you can see right here that it's not just only Next. We have React, Node, Vue, and there are also more frameworks to come. So this is very important because you want to know when something is wrong with your application and you want to know how your application is doing at all time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Alertly by going to alertly.ai or click the link in the description below. And if you have any questions at all, please drop it down in the comments. I'll make sure to answer all questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.